Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, all we're going to do is we're going to add the event handlers for the two pickers. So this is going to be basically adding functions to determine what will happen when an item is selected from either of the two pickers. So we're basically just going to create one uh, handler for each picker. There's the missing variable picker and the calculation picker. And I'm going to explain the differences between how to do this in iOS and Android. So it's a very similar process. It's just slightly different syntax. But if basically, we're just going to say when something from that picker is called, we're going to assign a variable to contain that value. We're going to change a text, and then we're going to call another function. OK, so that's a basic rundown. And yes, yeah, so it's just going to be adding the handlers. OK, so now we've actually created a couple of in instances of the pickers. So we have a missing variable choice picker that basically contains the missing variable choice so we'll choose from that and it will choose a missing variable and then we have the calculation choice spinner which just chooses the calculation okay so now we've created some we need to add some event handlers to them so these will handle what will happen when a choice is selected so we're going to create one that's going to be called choose from missing variable picker and this is what's obviously going to happen when the when we choose something from the missing variable picker, not the calculation choice one. So what we're going to do is we're going to call the missing variable choice dot variable selected. So this is basically when a variable is selected from the missing choice picker and that's why we added the variable selected event handler. So basically when this is selected we can do a plus equals and instead of a delegate it's going to be object sender and event args so this is going to be the very first one that comes up and what we're going to do is we're just going to add in the couple of curly braces and enter the code here so what will happen is the variable to calculate we're just going to assign to be whatever we select is the missing variable choice dot selected variable and we're going to change a text so the lbl choose variable text dot text is going to be the variable to calculate and I'm just going to go through this quickly and then explain and we're going to call this next function which is going to be the choose from calculation picker and this will this will implement in just a second I could just kinda wanna explain what's going on so basically this is calling our variable uh, missing variable choice spinner we're saying once something is selected we're going to there's gonna be an event and we're just going to say that the variable to calculate which was this string up here again this is just gonna help us choose which calculation to use or rather which variable is missing is just going to be the item that we selected from the spinner here or from the picker so once we select an item, let's say, for example, we select final velocity, that's just going to assign the variable to calculate to be final velocity, and it's going to change the text, which was this one here. It's just going to assign that text to be equal to the text of whatever we picked, so whichever variable we chose. Okay. So again, not so different from in Android. The actual functionality is kind of the same. There's just like slightly different syntax. This is a plus equals object sender and event args rather than a delegate. So now let's do this choose, I guess this is a void, and we'll do this choose from missing variable picker or from the calculation picker. Okay, and we're running out of memory there. <laughs> and this is going to be pretty much the same as this function up here so it's going to be the calculation which what would we call it the calculation choice is going to be dot once calculation choice has a, an item selected dot variable selected plus equals object sender and event args that was the first one that I just chose there and this time we're going to assign the calculation to use is going to be equal to whatever we chose from here so selected variable so basically whatever we choose from the calculation picker 
is just going to be assigned to our variable calculation to use and then we're just going to change the label. So LBL missing vert and I actually don't think we gave it a name. What did we call this? Oh we did calculation text. LBL calculation text dot text is going to be equal to the calculation to use. And just gonna add the semicolon there. And then we're gonna call this other function, which is going to be choose and I'm gonna put this in a comment for now. It's gonna be choose calculation. And this is going to take in a calculation to use. Okay, so we're just gonna save it here. And these are our two event handlers. So we basically added what will happen when we choose from a the missing variable picker and it's just going to say once we've made a selection we're going to populate this string the variable to calculate with that selection and then we're just going to assign the label text to be whatever we chose and pretty much exactly the same thing with the choose from calculation picker except we're assigning that to the calculation to use so these assignments will just basically help us to then go on and choose which calculation and which way to rearrange that calculation. Okay, so that was how to add the event handlers. In this next part, we're going to actually add some of the other functions and it's gonna be a lot of copy and paste over from the Android part, but I'm going to explain what each function does again. I just think it's kind of a waste of time to type it all out. Okay, so we'll take a look next at adding some of the other functions. All right, so in this part, we added event handlers for our pickers in iOS. So up until this point, we had just kind of, first we created the class so that we can create new pickers. Then we actually created two new pickers, so one for the variables, one for the calculations. And now we're going to add the handlers. Or now rather, we added the handlers. So now we can basically handle what will happen when an item is selected from the pickers. So we should now have the pickers completely set up and ready to use. And if we select something, then we actually have something happen. So you should be able to add these handlers to pickers in iOS from now onwards. And the next part, we'll be looking at adding some more functionality.